Hello everyone and welcome to another SQL tutorial on our channel Learn at No Star. Today we are going to write a SQL query for an interesting scenario which is to extract the last occurrence of a substring using SQL. We are going to take a look at two examples. The first one is a simple example wherein we are going to extract the file name extension from the original file name and in the second example we are going to extract the file name from the complete physical path of the file so let's get started for the first example i have already declared a variable called fn and i have passed the input value as file name.ext the extension of the file name here is ext so if i have a requirement wherein i want to extract this extension then there are a couple of ways to go about it so there are multiple ways but the one which we are going to consider over here is the one that will also help us to find the last occurrence of a substring which means if this dot had occurred multiple times and we just want to find the last occurrence the last substring after the last dot in this string then this approach would help us to do that now in any approach the first step has to be to find out the position of this last occurrence of the dot so to do that there are various functions available the function that is most useful here would be the char index function you can also use the pat index function but char index function would work fine in this case the char index function would give us the position of the substring that we are going to find in this variable so let's just start with writing the char index function and then we'll go about with the next steps so the char index function can be simply written as char index and then you need to pass the search expression which is going to be the dot in our case and the expression to be searched which is a variable at fn so if i simply run this entire piece of code i'm going to get the position of the dot in my string which is nine so now what i need to do is i want to extract all the characters after the ninth character in this substring in the string now, if I need to do that, then I have an approach. I can use the substring function and I can find out the position. I can start extracting from the 10th position. I can find out the length of this whole string and then I can extract till the end of the string. Now, if you are already aware and many of you would be aware of that syntax, do write it down in the comment section below for everybody to know. So how that can be used to extract the string. But in our case today we are going to use another function to achieve the same objective and that function is reverse so our approach is going to be to find the position of this dot from the end of the string so instead of finding it from the left hand side that we started counting from here we are going to start counting the position from the end of the string so in effect it is going to be the fourth position and then i would know that i just need to extract the last four characters or i can subtract a one so i can extract only four minus one which is three characters which is going to give me the file name extension now to find the position of the string from the end of the string instead of from the starting of the string what i can do is i can just use a function called reverse to reverse the string so before using it with the char index function let's just see what the reverse function do so reverse as the name suggests simple function doesn't do anything else other than reversing the string so it's just going to reverse the whole string each character of the string so it is going to make it t x e dot and so on so the whole string character wise has been reversed once you have the reverse string now i will try to find out the position of this dot so when i try to find out the position of this dot it is going to give me fourth character and then I can decide to extract only the last four or the last three characters from the string so what I'm going to do now is apply this reverse on my original string and as you already discussed this is going to give me four or the fourth position as the position that I need. Now, if I want to extract only the last four or the last three characters, I can simply go ahead and use the right function that is going to give me the rightmost characters. So I'm going to extract the rightmost characters 
from my original string and the number of characters I want to extract. So if I extract the four characters, it is going to include this dot character. If I do not want this dot character, then I am simply going to do a minus one from this char index calculation over here. So my char index finishes over here. I'm going to do a minus one and close my brackets for the right function. And it is going to give me the last three characters. So if I execute this, it is going to give me the extension of the file name. This is a very simple way in which we can extract the file name extension from the file. Now moving on to our second scenario. In the second scenario, we have the entire physical path for the file. So we have something like this. So you can see that we have multiple backslash signs and we have the file name over here. So what I want to achieve now is I want to extract only the file name and ditch the path of the file. So the same query is going to work over here if you just copy this query I'm just going to copy it over here and paste it right below here now what I need to do here is I my delimiter the substring that I'm trying to find is the backslash sign so instead of this dot over here I'm going to replace it with a backslash the same approach has to be used I'm going to reverse this whole string and then I'm going to find out with car index the occurrence of a backslash so if I am not going to pass any other option explicitly it is going to give me the occurrence of the first backslash in the reverse string which is going to be this this particular position so this particular position and then I'm going to just extract the rightmost characters from this particular position so if I run this query again over here it is going to give me the file name as master.mdf so if it is not clear we can also go step by step so I'm just going step by step for those for whom it was not clear for others you can simply go ahead and use this approach and as I mentioned earlier if you know of another approach using the substring function in which you can extract the extension of the file name then please do post it in the comments below for everybody of us to know. Thanks a lot for watching for those who do not want to watch it further for the ones who want to split this down into steps I'm going to split it down now so I'm going to write a simple query select reverse at fn and it is going to reverse this substring over here so now we have the reverse substring you can see it's a big substring the next step is to find out the position of the backslash so the position of the backslash if i do not pass an option it's going to search for the first occurrence of the backslash in cat index you can also uh, specify from which occurrence you want to search so if you just do not pass an option it's going to give you the first occurrence and that is what we want because we have already reversed this uh, string so it is going to search for the last occurrence so we have to pass what we are going to search for so it's going to be a backslash over here and now if I execute this query it is going to give me the position 11 so if we start counting from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 this is the 11th position once I have that I'm just going to use my right function so if I just use a right function on the string to extract these many rightmost characters it is going to written the string with a hash with the backslash sign okay so what i need to do here is like in the query that we just copied i need to do a minus one if i do not want that hash sign and then i can get the original file name from this entire part so this is how it can be achieved i hope that you found the video useful if you did then please do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and keep watching our youtube channel for more tutorials thanks a lot for watching goodbye